This is Dion Jones. Jones was a badass. Overcome this powerhouse. Rush for 20 yards. Pass for 50 yards. Do not throw an incomplete pass and score a touchdown. And we'll see you next. I was like, yes, good run. Close to down, being down with the rushing yards. Mm. They go play action here on first down. Steps away to his left. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. All right, 12 20. And that'll give him a first down. More than happy to pass this ball. Offense Can't have any comp incomplete, so. I could so hurt you here, but I can't have any incomplete, incomplete so I can't just streak him, take that chance. He's back to throw. Steps away. And he finds a man with a crossing route. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They're bluffing that safety. No? Well, all right. Back to throw. Oh, it's dangerous. He's got his hand the route. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. God, look at the clock. Let's go. They'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. And he's slow. Now whistles come in. All right, I got my rushing yards complete. No, I've got to get some chunk yardage here or something. I mean, yeah. it's tough. And I can't have any complete pass either. So it's like, yeah. I like Jordan Reed with that, huh? Don't forget Jordan Reed. Don't forget the old 87 Jordan Reed. <laughs> All right, 13 yards. Come on. Nobody drop any passes. Jordan Reed. Bam. That was just flawless execution there. I have to, I mean, come on, come on. That was a one, that was a tough challenge. I had to restart like two times, I think. And I, I felt good about that one. That's why I love Jordan Reed so much. And I have him as my uh, second string tight end. And, I, and that's the first card I'm going to buy, even though I need cards on defense is Jordan Reed's 840 it's actually higher than that now it's basically a million dollar card a million coin card Jordan Reed but it's because he's that goddamn good he's just good he's just he's the best in the league in my opinion and um uh, I hit him on the play before the last because he was deeper and I was looking for him to see if he if he would be open on this play because the first tight end on the crossing route uh, caught tight end one, Greg Olson. Um, it runs about a 10 yard stint. You know, uh, Reed goes out an extra five to seven yards uh, from him. He's just mirroring him. And so they I always go to Olson and they like, and they key in on him a lot. And, and they did on that play. They left Jordan Reed over top. I had to throw it, you know, over top a bit. But uh, he was he was wide open in in the end zone. I had a lot of dudes between me and him, but you saw it right to him. He's not gonna drop the ball, and bam, I'm I'm happy. So let, let's get let's take a look at this pack. This is a um, an actual um, all rookie pack, whatever it's called. Um, so we'll see what we get out of it. At least we'll get some collectibles to go in the set. To get the, the one elite player minimum. Alright. Deion Jones. Defensive all rookie pack. Let's 
Denoris Jenkins, stat. Floyd. Adams. Trash. Yeah. I, I mean, who wants these cards? Honest to God. Uh, but I got the minimum. I, through both of these challenges, I've never gotten a player, unfortunately. But it is what it is. You, you definitely can and will. Uh, I got the three stack collectibles there. So I'm good on that. And we can go check to show you the uh, sets. Um, here for this for the defensive and it's going to be right there and you'll see uh, you've got the master Deion Jones you throw in uh, 10 elites for him which given their price is not bad uh, I could uh, go grab I could go spend 200k and get him to be, to be honest with you I could go or maybe 250,000 but that's not bad because uh, it's any defense of all rookie players. You can get the cheapest, find the cheapest one and buy 10 of them. And bam. You've got uh, a 99 overall middle linebacker. Come on. Um, I have him on my team, but he's not 97. So I'm definitely going to do that. This set, uh, this set lasts till April, April something. I'll show you in a minute. And then the uh, right here, you trade in 12 of the specific ones right here. You see Spence, Buckner, Collins, Jenkins, Lee, all that. You have to trade in 12 of those, and then you and then you have to trade in 18 of uh, that are wild cards. That can be any players, but they just have to be stack collectibles. So I can see how many I have total, how far off I am. And I have 23, so I'm seven short, which is fine because of the objectives. Um, I have plenty of obje objectives that I will complete by doing some other random easy solo challenge somewhere. That's like, like a team challenge or something that's really easy. And you'll see, if you go look at your last section of your solos, I don't, I've only gotten four out of 15. So, you know, there's 11 more stack collectibles, actually 12, because you get another one when you complete the whole set that I have ready. And, and I'm only, what, seven short right now, so it's super easy. I'll have this um, trade in really quickly. Maybe I'll make a video and show it. I don't know if people need that or not. But, uh, yeah, this is where you get the extra ones. If you're wondering, okay, I did all the solo challenges. Why the hell don't I have enough to do at least the trade in well it's because they do give you away and it's not hard it's right here okay so just go to like for example i'm gonna go and just head over to the obviously do the solo challenges that that help you like the the uh, limited time if you haven't done uh like these challenge uh, predictors i may go in there and uh, do those as well just because the coins, but, uh, you know, if you haven't done Season Stars, Ultimate Legend, stuff like that, you know, go ahead and pop those in, but uh, something that you can get a lot of the stats in one go, in one game, is to go and do something like, um, go over here and go to something really easy, like the team challenges, like I said I'd already, there's 512 of these, so you can go in here and go to the first game here. Maybe you don't want to play Panthers, but the uh, point is, is there two-minute quarters. You can go in there. It'd be They're easy to beat, and you can just get – you just look at your goals and objectives and figure out what would be the easiest way to get the most objectives done in one challenge with a full game at two-minute quarters, which is still fairly short. And I could probably do one challenge and come out with – uh, the seven I need to be to be perfectly honest. The worst case scenario, I'd have to, have to play two. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's that. And the master, I really like the master. Uh, I like both the masters. I I may go buy, use my coin and buy. I have enough coin where I could buy. I know I can do the uh, defensive middle linebacker. Um, I mean it's expensive, but it's for the cards you get. It's not expensive. You know what I mean? 
I'm curious to see what the, what that's selling for as well. But anyways, this video is long enough, so take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps you out. If you're using, I'm using the Patriots offensive playbook. Obviously using Michael Vick, um, the guy who was catching the TD and caught the longest balls uh, was an 87 most fear Jordan Reed, which is a great card, but it's old as sin. But he's still great. You know what I mean? So. Guys, take care.